Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from the TheRightTrader.com back again with another video. Today we're going to be doing a 2020 analysis uh, and stock price prediction for Twitter. Uh, currently sitting at $32 with a market cap of $25 billion. Uh, definitely a stock that was able to recover nicely uh, in recent times and, you know, start to push some more interesting levels. Now, it did drop a bit. Obviously, the stock market has fell a lot in the past two days. So we're going to take a look at the chart and kind of see what's been going on with that and also where we think it's going to be heading in 2020 uh, based on everything we're seeing. So I'm actually going to go to the weekly time frame here so we can get a little bit of a bigger picture view of what's like happening exactly. We're going to start off with some trend lines. Uh, the first thing I wanted to point out is the very obvious double top that we had here. So this isn't, you know, just to bash on Twitter or anything because uh, it's not, this alone isn't enough of, of a signal to make any conclusions, but it is a double top, right? This high over here is higher than the high over here. So we're actually forming a bit of a downtrend based on those two tops. And actually, if we take it from, you know, over here, we can draw a downtrend line as well like this, or we could even draw a downtrend line kind of taking, you know, some of these levels and matching it with the ones over here. Either way, you know, we are, we do have some downward pressure from these downtrend lines. Uh, I'm just going to keep this bigger main one uh, just to make things neat on the chart. And, you know, I'll leave that one actually because it may be important. But let's go ahead and draw our uptrend line now. We do have some nice upward support, even though we have, you know, taken a hit recently. We have found some uh, uptrending support. And that's, of course, always a very good sign. First thing you can see is a symmetrical triangle formation uh, that actually leads us all the way into 2021 uh, and even a little bit beyond that. So the end of this formation is actually uh, in 2021. And that means that, you know, for the entirety of 2020, we could actually be, I'll pull out my brush tool, just bouncing up and down in the symmetrical triangle pattern, right? That would actually be a pretty likely scenario and not necessarily a bad thing uh, because, you know, we've gone up a lot in recent times. You know, we made our way all the way from around $14 back to, you know, $40. So great moves by Twitter. I still like the company. I like the stock, but uh, I don't know if, you know, we can expect a breakout to new all-time highs with this unfortunate double top here. It's going to be a bit hard. Uh, it's not impossible, but it is a bit hard. And of course, you know, $45 big resistance level as well as the downtrend line and then $47, $50 as well. So are we going to get above that in 2020? We could. It would require a very strong breakout out of the downtrend. Uh, and at that point, it would definitely be in the cards. But I think that this consolidation scenario is more likely. And as far as a bearish scenario, there are some bearish signals. We have a bearish divergence on the RSI because the RSI is downtrending quite a bit. Uh, and if you take took a look here, uh, if we look at this trend line over here, I'll change the color real quick. This downtrend line was not downtrending as much as this one. They're pretty similar, but this one is a little bit steeper. That is part of that bearish divergence that we're seeing. MACD, not very bearish, but not looking strong either. So, you know, no, we don't have any huge bearish signals, a couple of signals that are a bit bearish, uh, like this downtrend line in the RSI or the double top. But overall, you know, nothing disastrous. Uh, I think that, like I said, it, it really seems like this consolidation scenario for 2020 is the most likely scenario. And of course, pay big attention to any break below the downtrend line or above the uptrend line. If any of those two things happen, then, like I said, we could push out of the boundary, so to say, and start moving towards $50 plus if we break out of the uptrend line, or, you know, we could go back down to $25 if we break out of the downtrend line. For that to happen, it'll probably need to happen within, you know, probably before the middle of the year, I want to say, for us to really start moving lower or higher at that point. Otherwise, I'd say, you know, uh, if we wait till the end of the year, like I said, we're already in 2021. So at that point, you know, either way, uh, same thing, but for us to see a bigger move in 2020, It'll have to happen more towards mid-year or, like I said, just the typical consolidation pattern right here. With that being said, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, make sure to check out my other stock price prediction videos. 
Uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. And make sure to check out my technical analysis master course. It's the ultimate guide to technical analysis for less than $20. It's gotten great reviews, 30 day money back guarantee. You've got nothing to lose by giving this a try. You won't find a technical analysis as good as this and as cheap as this. So definitely check it out if you're interested. Link in the description. And thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.